All right, VHR, Cyan here again, going to go ahead and do um, our positional video for Zul, Harak. A couple of things that we're going to go ahead and cover right off the bat is during phase one, tanks need to switch on the boss to the Vanguard and to the Ominous as we go from phase one into phase two. There's also going to be some ads, and we'll go over those priority kill lists in just a second. The big elements that we want to look for, though, as you can see, I put a 1, a 2, and a 3. And those are the three positional movements that we're going to be doing in the fight. Position 1 represents the green, which will be the um, Fellblaze Flurry debuff. What we're going to see is when you're targeted, you end up getting a thing called Fell Surge or Void Surge. That'll be the purple side. And what you need to do is you need to run like the arrow show to a location that allows you to be able to drop it off consistently. So we're always going to take it to the outside. Now, as we get into phase three, what we're going to have to do is use a debuff properly from purple with a mitigator. So, for example, like a paladin can go ahead and get the debuff, bubble up, or vice versa. It might, I'm not sure of the rotation on it. But once they get the debuff from the purple side, then they run into the green. And it literally does a 20-yard AoE 160k explosion. So as long as nobody's around it and the paladin is invincible at this point, as an example, in any other class that has a full mitigator... Uh, that's exactly what will happen. Now, we could probably do externals also if that needs to be done. So that's another step that we could take for it, and that will help us clear at least the area for where 3 is. Now, you'll be doing what's in Phase 1 from the beginning, and then when we rotate to Phase 2, and we deal with it on the other side, and we have Omnis involved using um, his his attacks and, and the voids that are going to be coming out. It's the exact same principle, though. Okay. Uh, DPS priorities include the wild pyromaniacs they're little imps um, we're gonna do our best to try to group them up and burn them down but they need to be killed constantly and also interrupted whenever an opportunity comes along with when they cast their fell orb after that it becomes the unstable void fiends which are that they, they create like a little purple um, emblem next to a world next to whoever is closest to them so they can be managed actually by somebody in range picking them up and then intentionally moving them away from the group and then range focus on burning them down properly the imps are a priority for melee in range when they're in, in possession but we need to learn to manage between the two of them and it, it's a walk off at that point Raid Leader also needs to make sure that they're assigning at least three people, two to three people, to handle the black holes when they go down. It's a larger purple that's going to eventually have an orb in the inside of it. And all three members kind of, you got to all kind of hit it at the same time. So you got to kind of look at it as how the people come in and then boom, everybody gets on it as quickly as possible. It does, um, an explosion creates a, an effect literally named Anomaly. And then everybody inside of it ends up taking about 300,000 damage. So it's shared between everyone. Once we get through with position 2, then we move to position 3. At this point, the tanks need to stack um, and then basically do a taunt rotation as they go through. Um, the idea here is Fell Strike, Void Strike. So one tank will take Fell Strike, then the next tank will take Void Strike, then the next Fell Strike, and then Void Strike. And it alternates like that through the end. You're still going to have to deal with the mechanics from Part 1 and Part 2 at this point. Um, we're going to use the general format that you see there with the tanks positioned as they are. And then the melee to the side, range, healers and range. And then I think this triangle format is going to give us a really good strength, a lot of strength involving position one, two, and three as we rotate through each part. If you have any questions about the fight, please just let me know by posting in the comments below. I appreciate you taking the time watching the video. Please click like and share um, and let other people know that we have it posted so that way we can make sure everybody's on the same page when it comes to strategy. I'll be putting the other two, three videos up now. Um, I appreciate you taking the time watching those too, all right? Have a blessed day.